Welcome to Cloud Klein. Hi, um, today I'm going to be showing you how I have a full Windows 10 experience on my Samsung DeX. I'm using a Samsung Galaxy Note 8 um, for my experience. Um, I, I'm doing it using a service called Shadow. Uh, Shadow is a company, um, their website sorry, is shadow.tech if you want to check them out. Shadow are a company, um, they started out in France, um, they've moved through throughout Europe, UK, and they've just set up in America recently, um, and now they're growing there. Shadow gives you a, a cloud gaming experience, is how they sell it, but you could use it, I mean, it's a Windows 10 PC that you're accessing, so you really can just, you know, you can use it as just a powerful PC. It's £26.95 a month, um, which works out, uh, you know, just over £300 a year. Um, but the PC they're giving you, um, I mean, I've heard estimates as around £2,000. So they're going to keep that uh, PC updated as well. Um, so, you know, for that price, this is what you're getting. Um, you know, good specs there for a PC. So I'll let you check out Shadow by yourself. I really just want to show you today how on the decks I can have this experience. So I'm going to minimise this. So I've installed the Shadow app onto my phone. And if I open it up from here, the normal app tray, you can see it's not going to give me the option to make it full size. So I'm not going to connect to it via here. I'm just going to close that. For viewing apps in a Dex, in Dex mode, um, in full screen so it is like a true desktop experience i use a, a brilliant app called dexmax which will by opening the app through dexmax uh, it converts most apps normal apps um, so that you can view them in full screen so if i open up shadow here through the dexmax app you can see now that i've got a maximize window um, option at the top there um, and it's really that simple so i'm in my dex mode at the moment um, I've already logged in and, and everything on the Shadow uh, app, so I just need to click on this red button here. Now it's connecting to my cloud PC, and there it is. I'm just going to make it full screen now. And that's it. We're now into my, my, uh, my Windows 10 PC, and this is on my Samsung DeX. This is my phone plugged into a monitor, and that's all I'm doing. Um, so... Here we go, just logged in, and now I've got a full Windows 10 experience. I'm just going to show you the system settings so you can see. So, where are we? So, you can see as they say, I've got well, near enough 256 gig. Um, where are we? So here you can see the specs. So we've got 12 gig of RAM. Um, that's the processor we're running. No, it's Windows 10 Home. It's all there. This is £26.95 a month. Um, it's brilliant. I mean, I'm, I'm not a huge gamer, um, but there is one game that I play a lot, and that's Football Manager. I'm just going to show you now how this runs, how this loads. So uh, just double-clicked it there. Shouldn't take too long to load up. Yep, go. It really is brilliant. I mean, the Shadow app itself, you can install, I think, Windows, iOS, and Android devices at the moment. So any tablet. I've tried this just on my phone as well, just using my phone display. Um, obviously, with the Galaxy Note 8, I've got an S Pen. Um, for this game in particular, makes that game much easier to use because it's quite intricate um, on a small screen but you can use it on your phone tablet 
used it on my laptop as well um, and it's brilliant because I've just got instant access anywhere to a really quick powerful PC um, and its connection to the internet as well by the way is one gigabyte a second I'm just going to show you that now very quickly so oh, I just alt tabbed uh, oh, this might be tricky because I'm in football manager let me there we go so let me get Chrome I'll just show you a quick speed test. Let's just do this one. So we're just going to go, and this will show you. This is the Shadow PC's connection. So you can see really good speeds there. The Shadow PC is doing most of the work. You don't need to have the strongest connection in the world. And I'll show you a speed test from my phone, which is using a Wi-Fi connection at the moment, in a moment. Um, I have used my 4G connection as well. Um, I think after about an hour use, it had, it had used about 1.5 gig of data. Um, so there you go. So this is the actual PC, the Shadow PC. Now, if I come out of this, I'm just going to alt tab over. Let's come out of here. Where are we? There we go. So at the bottom here. So if I come into Chrome back on my PC, uh, back on my deck, sorry, open up a new tab and we run a speed test. This is from my my phone. I don't want to download that. I just want to do a test. Let's try and check it out. Test off site. There we go, and I can send. So this is my phone on a Wi-Fi connection. And you can see not very, very good speeds. Not the best. But you can see when I'm using the PC, there's no, there's no lag or anything. It's all a brilliant experience, and I think I've only got it set to 30 megabyte per second connection. I'll double check that in a moment. I'll show you in the app, because you can adjust it. Um, they do have an auto option as well, but I found the auto option, which is still beta at the moment. So there you go. As you can see, that's my connection. So for the experience I'm getting, just close that down now. And we'll go back to the decks, which will be down here. Uh, sorry, to the shadow, just down here. So now we're back in the shadow. I'm just going to close that Chrome tab. And let's just get that loading. See, I'll show you the shadow options. So again, if I go. Hang on, I'm going to let the game load and then I can just set it into windowed mode so that I can just minimise this better. Uh, where are we? So you can see how quick this is from the connection. Everything's just instant. It doesn't feel to me like I'm using a different, you know, that I am connected to something else. It feels like it's right here. Um, I haven't really found any other services, um, any other services online that can provide this experience. If they do, they keep cutting out. There's nothing that, like this. I mean, I've, I haven't had any problems being disconnected, anything like that. Um, has it been here? Where are we? Okay, so, sorry. Windowed. Confirm. Right, now I can minimise that. Okay, yeah, let's just keep that. Let it do what it wants to do. Hmm. Taking a bit of time. Okay, so that, that's window, but right on the desktop here. So I've got shadow control panel. And you can see here, well, it's actually set to 10 megabytes a second at the moment. I'm going to up that to 30 just based on my latest speed test. There we go. Um, like I said, you've got the auto bandwidth option there, um, a low connection mode. I haven't tried this before, but for older PCs, it's not recommended. This is on my phone. I mean, I just don't see the need to do it. I'm having a great experience as I am, so why, why experiment? 
Um, you've also got these here, shadow mode. I've noticed it just change, it seems to change the color. So maybe, you know, if you're having um, problems with your connection, this might, you know, optimize things, uh, but it does change the color, sort of no blues I seem to notice. I'm looking at Leicester, that's usually blue there. A lot of blue missing. Um, I'm just gonna change that back. And mount sensitivity, I've just, it was set to 10, I've just set it to 15. Um, because I like to have that. Um, so there you go, that's that's the shadow. Um, I'll try and get to a game in here so you can just see the streaming quality of the game. Um, let's just whiz through. This is a Football Manager save that I'm doing. It's Football Manager 2018. Who have we got next? That's quite a while. It's Stoke. But you can see it's just whizzing through. It's really quick. It's much quicker than my laptop, uh, which is probably about four years old now. Um, but there's nothing wrong with the laptop. It's just, it's old tech now. It's just, it is what it is. But I can play now on a top end PC on here. Uh, let's get whiz through. Okay, hand over to Assistant. Nearly there. If there is anything you'd like me to show you, uh, please do leave in the comments any questions you have. I can uh, certainly show you more, more of the shadow and the decks. So team selection, let's just do this quickly. I'm just gonna pick my strongest team, which I've got saved here. Well, we've got a few changes to make, so let's, where are we? Let's whack in Stefan and who's the other one? Oh yeah, we've got Lacazette out at the moment. Got a new signing, 18 year old Brazilian, who is a regen in this game. Just check there's nobody else one on the bench. I think that's fine. I'm gonna give Thomas Lamar a rest. He's like our best player. And that'll do. Okay. So submit team. Yeah. So you can see now. Everything's looking good. I've got this on a high spec uh, within the game in terms of graphics as well. It's not the highest. I've got it on a high. And team talk. Okay, so teams such as ours should be winning this without a problem at all. Kick off. And you see all that video. This is it. Nice and smooth. I'm playing this on my phone right now under a Wi-Fi connection. I have done it. Um, oh, it's a little bit interesting. No, that's just the end of the clip. Um, yeah, I've done it before on my phone using yeah 4G connection and, and played this absolutely fine. Obviously, it depends on your data uh, contract, how much you want to use or not use. Um, you can see it's tiny, tiny bit choppy there, here and there. If I changed my settings, so let's go back to oh, I've lost connection. Let's try. Okay, that's working. Right, let's try and I want to go into Windows, so I'll minimize. Oh. This smaller to open, is it not open already? Should not shadow support. I want to open shadow control. I'm going to just turn down the the bits because maybe I've overdone it there. Maybe that's there. We go. So, connection, I'm just going to turn this down to 20 and let's see if that's any smoother. Yeah, I think that's fine now. Mm. 
getting the odd the old glitch obviously if you've got a better internet connection or I mean this is over Wi-Fi as well so bear that in mind but generally I don't have a problem um, I think it's absolutely fine for this game obviously if you're playing more you know graphic intensive games then maybe that's something you want to test with you know the megabyte per second uh, beforehand but Anyway, I'm going to end the video there. Um, if you've got any questions, then let me know. Uh, leave any comments in the bottom. Um, you know what to do. Thanks a lot. Ciao, ciao.